Proceed only after you read Chapter 10, and then complete Read and Summit 10 on Blackboard. In Chapter 9, we perform tests involving a single population mean, or a single population proportion. In Chapter 10, we perform tests involving means from two populations, or proportions from two populations. Like in Chapters 8 and 9, the values of population means are unknown while the population variances may or may not be known values. Mu1 is the population mean from population 1. For example, Mu1 could be the average time brand A lipstick remains on the lips of all adult females in America. Mu2 is the mean from population 2. For example, it could be the average time brand B remains on the lips of all adult females in America. Mu1 minus Mu2 is the difference between two population means. Now if brand A lipstick remains on lips longer than brand B, then Mu1 minus Mu2 is positive. Sample mean X bar 1 is the point estimator of mu1. Sample mean x bar 2 is the point estimator of mu2. x bar 1 minus x bar 2 is the point estimator of mu1 minus mu2. If sample mean x bar 1 computed from population 1 is greater than the sample mean from population 2, x bar 2, then the difference between x bar 1 and x bar 2 is positive. This would suggest that brand A lipstick is probably better than brand B. Assume the variances of a variable being studied in two different populations are known. If population 1's distribution is either normal and the size of the sample drawn from population 1 is at least 1, or population 1's distribution is roughly symmetric, and the size of the sample drawn from population 1 is at least 30, or population 1's distribution is heavily skewed, and the size of the sample drawn from population 1 is at least 50, then the distribution of sample mean x bar 1 is normal, whose mean is equal to mu 1, and standard deviation equals sigma 1 divided by the square root of the sample size drawn from population 1. If population 2's distribution is either normal, and the size of the sample drawn from population 2 is at least 1, or population 2's distribution is roughly symmetric and the size of the sample drawn from population 2 is at least 30, or population 2's distribution is heavily skewed and the size of the sample drawn from population 2 is at least 50, then the distribution of sample mean 2, x bar 2, is normal with a mean equal to mu2 and a standard deviation equal to sigma 2 divided by the square root of the size of the sample drawn from population 2. If sample mean 1 and sample mean 2 are normally distributed and samples 1 and 2 are independent, then the difference of sample mean 1 and sample mean 2 is normally distributed with a mean equal to mu1 minus mu2 and a standard deviation equal to the square root of the sum of the ratios of population variances and their sample sizes. This standard deviation is also known as the standard, the standard error of the difference in means. Since the values of the population variances are known, but population means are unknown values, we need to compute a range for the difference in population means to determine which product is best, or which segments of the population make money, or which policy is better. 
To do this, we estimate an interval estimate of the difference. The difference in sample means, x bar 1 minus x bar 2, is the point estimator of the difference in the population means. The product of the z value and standard error, the st standard error being the square root of the sum of the ratios of population variances and their sample sizes, that product is called the margin of error. The margin of error is first added to the difference in sample means and then subtracted from it, resulting in two values. The smaller value could be thought of as a worst case scenario, while the larger value could be thought of as the best case scenario. Z subscript alpha divided by 2 is found by using the standard normal table. Alpha divided by 2 is the probability that Z is greater than Z subscript alpha divided by 2. Alpha is called the significance level. It is divided by 2 because confidence intervals have two tails. 1 minus alpha is called the confidence level. The probability of being in the lower tail is equal to alpha divided by 2. The probability of being in the upper tail is equal to alpha divided by 2. The probability of, be, the probability of being in the tails is equal to alpha. The probability of not being in the tails is equal to 1 minus alpha. In the example below, Par Inc. is a golf manufacturer of golf equipment and has developed a new golf ball that has been designed to provide extra distance. In a test of driving dif distance using a mechanical driving device, a sample of Par golf balls was compared with a sample of golf balls made by RAP LTD, a competitor. The sample statistics appear on the next slide. The variable studied here is how far golf balls fly after being hit by a mechanical driving device. All golf balls produced by Par Inc. comprise population 1, while all golf balls produced by RAP LTD make up population 2. 120 par golf balls and 80 wrap golf balls were chosen for the study. The average distance of the 120 par golf balls is 275 yards. The average distance of the 80 wrap golf balls is 258 yards. Based on the data from previous driving distance tests, the two population standard deviations are assumed to be 15 and 20, respectively. Develop a 95% confidence interval estimate of the difference between the mean driving distances of the two brands of golf balls. The difference in sample means is equal to 275 minus 258, or 17 yards. This suggests that mu1 could be larger than mu2. That is, the par ball probably flies farther than the rap ball. Now note, this is only anecdotal evidence. We don't know if this difference is statistically significant. Next, substitute the sample means, population standard deviations, sample sizes, and the significance level into the interval estimate. The values in red font are the sample means. X bar 1 equals 275. X bar 2 equals 258 yards. Since the confidence level is 0.95, the significance level is 0.05. Thus, the subscript of the Z value is 0.0250 because there are two tails in confidence intervals. The population standard deviations were 15 and 20 yards, while its corresponding sample sizes were 120 and 80. Subtracting 275 from 258 yields 17 yards, which is the point estimate of the difference in population means. 
the z value equals 1.96 because 0 0.0250 is in row negative 1.9 and column 0 0.06 of the standard normal table. 15 squared divided by 120 is equal to 1.875. 20 squared divided by 80 is equal to 5. Multiplying the z value 1.96 times the square root of the sum of 1.875 and 5 yields the margin of error, which is equal to 5.14 yards. Adding and subtracting the margin of error, 5.14 yards, from the point estimate of the difference in population means, 17 yards, yields a 95% confidence interval estimate of 11.86 yards to 22.14 yards. Hence, at best, the par golf ball flies 22.14 yards further than the wrap golf ball. At worst, the par golf ball flies 11.86 yards further than the wrap golf ball. The distribution of x bar 1 minus x bar 2 is normal. Since x bar 1 and x bar 2 are both normally distributed. x bar 1 is normally distributed because its sample size is at least 50 and its population standard deviation is known. The same things are true for x bar 2. The mean of the distribution of x bar 1 minus x bar 2 is the unknown value mu1 minus mu2. The point estimate of the difference in mu1 and mu2 is 17 yards. The standard deviation of the difference in means, or standard error, is 2.622 yards. At worst, par golf balls probably travel 11.86 yards longer than wrap golf balls. At best, par golf balls probably travel 22.14 yards longer than wrapped golf balls. We are 95% confident the difference between the mean driving distances of par and wrapped golf balls is 11.86 to 22.14 yards. Because if we construct a thousand of these intervals using results from a thousand random samples, 950 of these intervals will contain the true difference in the mean flying distance of these brands of golf balls. That is, mu1 minus mu2 will be in 95% of all confidence intervals constructed. Since the confidence interval does not contain zero, par golf balls probably fly farther than wrap golf balls.